Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about the Zanflare C4 battery charger. I don't know a whole lot about this charger. It showed up on Amazon about a week ago with a coupon for 40% off, so it was $17.99 after the coupon um, with free shipping, of course. So I thought I'd buy one and just check it out and see what it I believe it's comparable to the Lido Kawa. Um, it does up to 1000 milliamps charge and also does 500 milliamps uh, discharge current. Uh, not a whole lot in the back, just uh, the typical Chinese company. <clears throat> so, uh, first glance is it looks pretty common. I do notice that the positive terminal goes down at the bottom here and the, the spring slides up as opposed to on the opuses the spring slides downward and the positive terminal goes to the top. Um, not necessarily a bad thing just something to get used to it's a bit different. Don't know how well you can see that it's rated for 12 volts at 1.5 amps input and on the output it does 4.2 volts up to 1000 milliamps on each channel 1.48 volts up to 1000 milliamps on each channel and then DC it does 2 amps output which is for the USB charger on the back you can plug in a phone or some other USB device if you'd like to charge that um, that's kind of an odd function to have on a battery charger but I don't necessarily think it's a bad thing and then the compatible batteries are NiMH, NiCad, AA, AAA, regular A I'm not sure what that is and your typical lithium ion batteries We've also got the AC adapter, it does 100 to 240 volts, and it is good for 12 volts and 1.5 amps. The plug on the end seems a bit small, that's not a usual 12 volt size barrel plug, but that's okay. And then there is a car charger if you want to use it in your cigarette lighter. Um, and then of course the instruction manual in a variety of different languages. Alright, so unfortunately I was not able to get this open as I would have wanted to get a shot of the internals. Um, there's two small Phillips screws here and then two Phillips screws here under these rubber feet. They're about, they look like about a number zero Phillips. Um, there's no screws under here, but the unit still would not come apart. Uh, it kind of feels like it's glued. I don't think there's, there's clips or anything in there. It definitely feels like it's glued because even bending it like this, it doesn't even move. I'll pop a couple batteries in here and we'll try it out and see how it goes. Alright, so I just have some Panasonic CGR 18650EA batteries, they're standard 3.7 volt. Uh, I'm going to put them in and give them a charge and see how it goes. And you got to be quick once you put these batteries in. Uh, we'll press the mode until we get the NOR test option. And then press cycle until we get the maximum discharge of this charger is 500 milliamps. Um, so what the NOR test is going to do is it's going to charge the batteries the whole way up to 4.2 volts. And then it's going to discharge them down probably about to 3.0 or 2.8. Um, I'm not sure. It doesn't actually say in the manual what the cutoff voltage is, so I guess we'll find out. So then you can push the individual slot buttons to show each slot. They should be fully charged already. Alright, so we have the milliamps charging, the current voltage of the cell, the capacity which is blank because we haven't started the discharge phase yet, and then we have the internal resistance which is 80 milliohms. So to keep an eye on this we're just going to leave it on the voltage setting. Um, and one thing I noticed right away and I saw somebody else had mentioned this is the maximum charge on this charger when using charge mode is 1000 milliamps or 1 amp, but when you're on the NOR test mode the maximum current is 500 milliamps. So what I would have expected to happen is I would expect this charger to charge at 1000 milliamps and then do the discharge at 500 milliamps since that's how some of the other 500 milliamp charges work. But it looks like the way this works is you can only get the 1000 milliamps charge when in charge mode and when you're in test mode both the charge and test are limited to 500 milliamps. Now that's unfortunate because there is two uh, separate charge cycles and both charge cycles are going to take double the time at 500 milliamps. Um, but I guess that's just the way it is for this particular charger.
And we are back. After letting this run all night, the capacity test of these four cells finished. You push the buttons at the top for each individual channel here. You can also see the internal resistance of the cell, measured in milliams. This shows a quick way of judging the cell's health. You wouldn't want to see a cell, you know, 200, 220, or any higher than that. So in addition, you can push the buttons again, and you'll see the time it took to do each cell. So it's between 10 and 11 hours per cell. And again, these cells were fully charged when I put them in the charger. If your cells are not fully charged, I would say to add an additional, you know, anywhere from four to five hours onto this time. So you're looking about 15 to 16, maybe 17 hours to test cells. That being said, this charger is extremely slow. And the reason for that is it is discharging and charging at only 500 milliamps, or as other chargers like the Opus will charge and discharge at 1000 milliamps. And then some of the other chargers like the Lito Kala will charge at 1000 milliamps and discharge at 500 milliamps. I personally would not buy any more of these chargers myself. While I do really like the charger, the time it takes to charge and discharge cells makes it more worth, in my opinion, to spend the extra few bucks on the Opus, where I know it's gonna turn the cells over pretty quickly. And the overall physical quality definitely seems to be a little bit better than the Opus. And before I go, I've also had several people asking me where I get my cells. It seems to be a constant reoccurring question. I get mine mostly from laptop batteries. I will go around to all the repair stores in my area and ask. If that's not an option for you, batteryhookup.com is a great source for cells, both tested and untested. If you're interested, they have generously given us a 10% discount code exclusive to this channel. You can use the coupon code POWERWALLS on checkout for 10% off your order, no matter how much you buy or how many times you buy. And if you found this video useful or helpful in any way, please remember to hit the like and subscribe button below. Thank you for watching.